is the 4th of the 12th, 2013. This is your radioactive reality. Day 999. Looks pretty evil from that angle. Any news? IAEA official. Quote, what we are trying to say is consider putting all the toxic Fukushima water in the Pacific. Impact on human health must be monitored, you think. Nearby countries all against it. And can you blame them? I'll get more into this story later. Top official protesting secrecy law is an act of terrorism. So protesters are terrorists now, huh? Nice. Japan government promotes idea that if you're you're a racist if avoiding Fukushima produce. So if you're not eating the Fukushima produce, you're a racist. Bloomberg, the entire process has echoes of George Orwell. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. Nuclear activists to be constantly spied upon. No big surprise. <laughs> Japan author, Fukushima disaster, impossible to control. Senior scientists, the sheer number of things going wrong. You've never solved any problems. Mutual fund officials never regained control at plant. Three full-blown meltdowns. Coriums have left the building. River went running underneath the nuclear power plant and flowing directly into the Pacific Ocean. You wonder why they want to dump all the water anyway. Experts warn about ground sinking at Fukushima plants. TEPCO advisor, reactor building structures likely degraded. Containment degradation concerns back in 2011. And we've reported on this over and over and over again. The buildings are sinking. They've sank I believe it was uh, 12 to 15 centimeters during the initial quake. And with the way the ground sediment is now, with the water table reaching up to the surface, it's a big quagmire of muck and radioactivity. TV all-time high radiation level in well at Fukushima plant, 40 meters from the Pacific. 1.1 billion becquerels of strontium-90. Remember I said the other day, strontium-90, big release after a thousand days or so. Hmm. Other beta admitters. Fear highly contaminated water leaking into the ground and being allowed to flow into the sea. We've been reporting this over and over and over again. They're not stopping anything. All they're trying to do is hide it. Fuel... Fuel is damaged in two Fukushima pools, 150 billion becquerels of cesium-137 at unit number 3, possible second explosion after 311. Certainly appears something of significance occurred. We've all seen the videos. We've all seen the photos of the aftermath. You think something significant occurred? <sighs> Could these stories get any sillier? Sea star die-off worse than thought. Now over entire west coast. Going from one species to others. Government tests rule out Fukushima. Coincidence, they're all melting at once. Or something is fishy. Or something fishy is going on in these waters. And again, something fishy is going on in these waters. It's not just the radiation. It's all the chemical soup that got pushed out from that great big tsunami when it washed out the entire coast of Japan, the industrialized coast. Now, uh, on the comment board for this story, uh, one of the posters came up with a really, really um, one to think about. I will connect a link to that as well. Routes of plutonium uptake and their relation to biomagnification in starfish. Well, apparently... Uh, the plutonium really uh, has a strong affinity to the mucus-rich epidermal layer of the starfish, which contribute, contributes substantially to the relatively high levels of the transference in these individuals, in these, in, these mech in these organisms. So starfish really like to suck up that plutonium. I mean, it's just bread and butter and uh, still no big mystery. The government's tested no unusual uh, radiation levels 
to be seen here, folks. Move along, move along. Must be something else. We're not really sure. Professor, it's true that 70% of Japan's territory is polluted by Fukushima radioactive material. Tokyo contaminated with highly toxic radiation. Good luck with your 2020 Olympics. Experts worry about catastrophic impacts on health. You ain't seen nothing yet. This thing is just getting geared up. What they failed to mention was that they burned this radioactive tsunami debris in open incinerators all over the country in every prefecture. They've spread the wealth on this radioactivity all across Japan. All across Japan and the Pacific Ocean. The insanity continues and will continue for a very, very, very long time. Those lacking wisdom expected Fukushima plume to disperse before hitting west coast. In reality, sharp features were detected even after several days of travel. Big clumps of this stuff are pushing up. It's everywhere. Splashing up against the west coast of the United States and Canada. All the way down into Mexico. And the beat goes on. And the beat goes on. Arnie Gunderson, they want to dump all Fukushima radioactive water into the Pacific. Yes, they do. They've stated this over and over and over again. And with the corium in the environment and the river running over through it and in dumping directly into the Pacific Ocean, this is an outstanding excuse for the radiation increases that are about to hit and cannot stop. Oh, you know, we had to dump that water. Sorry, that's, that's why the radiation spiked up. It's not the coriums. <sighs> High risk of nuclear holocaust at Fukushima. Plant to keep emanating radioactive materials for thousands of years or so. Now, I don't want to argue numbers, but uh, should be millions. Billions. How long has uranium been around? How long will uranium stay around? How much uranium's lying around? Finally, over to Informidable. Regulators urge TEPCO to dump trinitated water into the Pacific Ocean, as we're supposed to believe that there's only tritium in this water. Hey guys, we dump it every day. Every nuclear power plant does it. We're running out of room to put it. It's a big ocean. It'll disperse it. On Tuesday, Chairman of Nuclear Regulation Authority in Japan warned the press that low-level contaminated water, low-level, it's emitting x-rays. Stored at the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant uh, represented one of the biggest obstacles for the decommissioning process, as if they're ever going to decommission these things. Uh, he advised that this obstacle could be avoided by releasing contaminated water into the Pacific Ocean. This is a long, drawn-out article I highly encourage you to read. Quote, you can't clean anything without getting something else dirty. you got to remember their water filtration system shut down again, remember? They just can't get this thing to work. This glorious piece of French technology. <sighs> anyway, that's about all I have for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or send me your messages. Enjoy what you can, everybody. I am.